What is going on guys? It is your boy Savage Jester or John coming back at you with a brand new video here today. And in today's video guys, as you guys can tell by the title, we are doing another sneaker unboxing for an Air Jordan 1. Now, I'm not sure about the entire box because I did get this yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to really like open it up, look inside or something like that. So this is as fresh and as raw as possible. But like the box is kind of open a little bit, so I'm not sure if somebody tried to get into the box, but it kind of defeats the whole purpose of, you know, like me actually pulling the type. Like, you know, like that's upsetting that I can't actually like pull it open, like, you know, just to get that little extra, you know, suspense build up for you guys. But I mean, the box is already open, so I mean, I just, like just like that, it comes straight off. Um, but I mean, it's cool. Like, I'm just I'm, I'm also upset that I can't like really use my knife anymore. They, I guess Nike switched up the box. And now you just gotta pull but um i'm actually like somewhat excited for this release this shoe did come out last week so obviously not a lot of people were able to um, get their hands on it but surprisingly it this it was easy first of all just take a look at the box like a lot of you guys know what's already in the box a lot of you guys don't but i love it i love what nike has been doing with the air jordan boxes like obviously whatever colorway comes out they try to get the box to match that specific colorway um I don't have a problem with the original black with the red Nike logo. I don't have an issue with it, but I do love what they've been doing with like, I guess you could say special releases for the Jordan ones that have been coming out so far, which is pretty cool. So this is how it looks obviously on the outside, but let's just, let's just take a look. Now, obviously opening up the box. Oh man. Like I'm actually like, like these are just, oof, that's, that's the word. Like you can't even, this is, this is just super, super, super clean. See so guys, this is the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens that just released last week. Now, as far as like pricing goes, this did retail for 180. Um, I have been, you know, keeping track with the prices as you know, time, as each day went on. Um, prices have been like really, slightly up slightly down these did come up for 180 i haven't seen prices like past maybe about 190 even this morning i looked and it's actually under retail now um probably again by the time that i look or by the time you guys are looking it's probably gonna go back up by but it's not this is just not gonna it's not like really gonna as far as right now air jordan ones are just not going as good this is kind of like another dead release to a lot of people, but obviously for the people who do want to cop, this is just, you. now's your chance. Just grab it. Now, obviously the history of the shoe, this did release in 2009, but it was a little different. It had a jump man on the back and also on the tongue area where the Nike Air logo is. It did, it released in a DMP pack with the bread Jordan ones, but um, now we're seeing it again in 2023, which is pretty cool. I actually like this shoe. It's not, it's not bad at all. Now, obviously going around the shoe, you do have the shoe entirely covered in leather. I love that they did the black leather toe area right here. Now, obviously every single Jordan that releases and they do the black toe, in my opinion, is pretty clean. And you, it should, you should not have a problem with styling it. As far as like the Jordan 1's go, those are my favorites, the ones that have the black toe on it. Now, these, I guess you could say like the these this specific like Jordan colorway released a few times, obviously, and when, when they are releasing a lot of green, I guess you could say green, black, and white colorways for, for the year of 2023. They are releasing a lot, but this is so far the cleanest that I have seen. But of course, going around the shoe, you do have your black swoosh. You also have your black wing logo. You have your nice green heel tab. It's, it, is pretty, it is pretty nice though, honestly, in my opinion. You also have your green outsole with your white midsole, your black tongue. Um, I'm not really a fan that it came with the green laces. They do come with the extra black pillars, which I hope mine did. Which I hope mine did. Uh, yeah, it did. It actually did come with. It actually did come with black laces. Um, I think that's what that's what's throwing everybody off. That it's it came with green laces. So obviously the pictures that everybody been seeing, 
they've been laced up with green laces but once you put the black laces on which i feel like the black laces always goes best with all the jordan releases which with, with not even all but a pretty high majority of the Jordan releases the black laces make it look so much better but when they actually add the, the you know the 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 lace color is actually the main color of the of like i guess you could say the back tab area it's kind of weird you know in a way because like there's there's a lot of green going on and i guess you just want to like balance it out and put black laces so i definitely 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 am going to going to be swapping out the green laces and putting in black for sure as far as the quality of the shoe goes i am impressed this kind of reminds me of the shadow the shadow air jordan ones the material kind of reminds me of that the leather is super super smooth quality quality control is pretty nice i don't see any imperfections with this they did so they pretty much did not miss um but a lot of people don't like these man a lot of people do not like these for some reason i'm not sure if just people are not be really a big green fan or what now i guess the problem that everybody's having right now is are these gonna go up in price or are they gonna sit right where they are or go down below retail now as of right now they are sitting below retail but just in a, in a general sense air jordan ones are just not doing good right now like over the last couple of air jordan releases even even if you want to include the last half of last year just jordans have not really been doing so good like it's just like they've been sticking kind of like to the retail price range possibly not going maybe about no more than 50 bucks over retail um in my honest opinion these will go up just because of like okay but it's just gonna take a while in my opinion it's just gonna take a while just by i guess you could say the jordan hype is not dead but i would say it's almost there but eventually jordan ones eventually will go back up so i mean for you resellers out there but the funny thing is is that i didn't see i there there was a previous release for jordan one that um the true blue ones the true blue ones came out about maybe a couple weeks ago maybe about a month ago i'm not sure if the right date um forgive me if i don't remember but guy br brought an entire like wall full of them and i guess a lot of people saw that you know and they saw that video and they kind of learned their lesson but these will these are pretty easy to get right now they are going below retail and they're actually still on the sneakers app at least my size is still going on the sneakers app um for the smaller sizes they did not release really small sizes on the sneakers app so that's something that you got to go maybe on gold or stock x for um but just if you get a chance to pick these up i would say grab them honestly because this is a clean shoe and there's just you just can't go wrong with a jordan one even though the hype is dead don't worry about the hype Jordan ones are still a clean shoe. It's springtime, so obviously you got you know something to match with it with you know the outside nature and stuff like that. In my honest opinion about this shoe, I just don't think you could go wrong with this shoe right now. Um, a lot of people hated it. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people kind of wanted this shoe to be slept on since they really liked them and they wanted to grab them, but. Eventually, it will be gone on the sneakers app. Eventually, I'd say give it like maybe about a, I'd say maybe about a week or less than a week, and you should see P. You should you should you should no longer see it on there. But as far as like pricing goes, this is probably gonna take a while to go up. So I would honestly say, if you want them just for your feet or a personal pair, grab them. If you if you don't want them and you're not feeling the green at all don't grab them that's all that's all i'm saying but in my personal opinion these are super 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 clean and i just love it like as soon as i saw it i was like okay these could potentially be a problem but then i thought about it and i'm like okay i see i see really what people are thinking about the shoe and they're like okay i don't like the green i don't really like it and a lot of people slept on this that's all i'm going to say a lot of people slept on this shoe and in my personal opinions i 100 percent believe these are going to go up a hundred percent it's a super clean shoe the color blocking is perfect it's a it's a black toe 
it's, it's just this. But everybody has their personal opinions on the shoe. A lot of people don't like it just because of the green. I mean, obviously, you can obviously throw this together. If you're, if you're, I guess you could say if you're like, uh, I know I can't say Jets because I think Jets is a little darker than this, but I mean, it's still green. Um, obviously, a lot of Celtics players will love this shoe. A lot of Celtics player, if your favorite color is green, you're going to like this shoe. If you just love Jordan 1s in general and you just want every single colorway, this is going to be the shoe for you. But as far as comfortability goes, like, I don't think, I don't think I'm, I don't think, I think the last time I've had a Jordan 1 on my foot, it's okay. It's okay as far as comfortability. Um, I think the last time they hurt my feet, but I mean, obviously wouldn't have these on for long, but these are pretty dope. These are pretty nice, man. These are pretty, pretty nice. These are pretty nice. Quality is great. The color blocking is great. This is something, this is something that I didn't mess up on. The quality is perfect. The quality is straight up perfect. Nice, 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 smooth leather. Yeah, these really remind me of the shadows, man. Especially, especially this, this area right here. These definitely remind me of the shadows quality, honestly. But let me know what you guys think on the shoe, man. Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Are you guys gonna sit to see where the prices go? Are you guys gonna rock it? Are you guys reselling? Let me know what you guys think about this shoe. It's a green, black, and white Air Jordan 1 high. Just, oh man, like, I'm not, it's, I don't really like, okay, like, all right, this is something that I would that I feel like go, but I'm glad that I kind of got these on sneakers out for retail. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. It's been your boy, Savage Jester, and I'm out. Peace.